Hello everyone, welcome back to this short video on knuckle bones in the new game, Cult of the Lamb. So the rules are, when dice are the same number of placed in the same column, multiply their value, destroy your opponent's dice by matching yours to theirs. Pretty simple rules, but there's actually a lot more strategy than you might first think. The first few rolls aren't too significant. If you can, you destroy their dice. There's an exception to that rule though, if they play a 1 or a 2, you don't want to destroy it because they're worth low values and you want them to have dice of low values. So right now he's got hideout value dice so we're going to try, well we will destroy them if we get the chance. There is unfortunately a lot of luck involved in this game. Okay this is tough because if we play on the right we destroy his 5 but then we lock in a row of 9. But I'm going to hope he destroys my wands. Okay, let's see now, we'll play 4 in the middle, destroy his 4s. He plays 3, obviously he's going to put it there. We'll multiply our 4 there instead of there because we need a 3 to destroy his row there. That was actually helpful for us, him putting the 2 there because now we have more room to play up here. So he's locked in a row of 14. So I'm going to put my 4 here instead of here because there is no possible chance he can destroy this row. We get a 2. Doesn't matter where we put it really. Actually it does because we don't want to put it here because that will once again destroy his row of 14 that he's locked in. So we'll put it on the left. And already we've pretty much won. Ooh, that was closer than I thought. We get a 4. That's the best row we could have got. 36 and that's how you win. Knucklebones and Cult of the Lamp, pretty easy stuff.